Alright you guys, today we have another city of tweak and this one is called Hide Me 8. Uh, this has to do with all the annoyance features um, that you may experience throughout your iDevice. Um, and this is a cool tweak and it has a bunch of uh, configurations and features and we're going to check it out today. So which, to get Hide Me 8 you need to go into Cydia and if you do not already have it go in and add the source hack your iPhone uh, so you need to go in, into Cydia and go to sources edit and then add and add the source repo.hackyouriphone.org you can pause the video if you can see it clearly uh, by me moving the camera up or you can look at an annotation and pause the video or you can look at the description as well and it will be there so make sure you uh, add the source Hack your iPhone, um, and then go into the search bar and type in "Hide Me." Uh, and once you type in "Hide Me," a bunch of selections should come up, um, and you scroll down to the "Hack Your iPhone" symbol, and go to "Hide Me 8" for iOS 8 in parentheses, and make sure you download the one with the source "Hack Your iPhone" because I'm, I know this one works, so I want to make sure you guys uh, get the right tweak that works so once you download this it will probably ask for a roof spring once you respring you can go into your settings and scroll down to your uh, city of tweaks and look for hide me 8 uh, of course you need to make sure this is enabled and what you need to do uh, is go into configuration and you have many different uh, features here and choices uh, things for control center lock center uh, lock screen uh, notification center, uh, springboard, status bar, and some tweaks for your stock apps. And Hulu and Instagram is two third-party apps that are uh, available if you want to edit anything with them. So I'm just going to quickly skim over uh, each of these uh, top uh, selections. So in control center you have a show on first swipe uh, airdrop to turn it off to hide it um, brightness selection music selection quick launch section uh, settings section you can disable it on the lock screen uh, darken the separators for circle buttons uh, for square buttons use the old bounce and you can change the opacity to whether you can see through the uh, control center or not be able to see through it so every change that you make you will have to respring your device um, I think some work without a respring and some doesn't and don't but you want to make sure you get a good respring anyways to be sure that it will stay working so the next one is lock screen um, you have the camera grabbers uh, the control center and Notification center uh, grabber, uh, the date, the percent charge, the time, the text, the clock, uh, and you can change the color of the clock. Um, I'm going to go to my lock screen real quick and I'm going to show you what color, changing the color of the uh, time does and the text. It looks pretty cool and it matches my uh, lock glyph tweak that I have already did a video on. If you guys want to go check that one out, you can go look at my videos and check that one out. So moving on to notification center, uh, you can disable it system wide, uh, show on first swipe, uh, you can have the bottom separator, uh, status bar, today's date, widget headers, and widget headers for today's page, or you can just automatically select them all so you cannot see them. All of these, keep in mind, are to hide uh, certain features. That may get on, uh, may be an annoyance to you. So next we have Springboard, uh, the icons. You can disable the badges, folders, uh, the labels, the jittering for when you uh, trying to delete one, uh, the tapped icon shadow, newsstand icon. Of course, you can delete newsstand. Uh, the recently updated dot and the test flight beta dot. Um, and you can also change the color of the labels. 
So for status bar being the last one, uh, you can hide it on the lock screen entirely, uh, keep it the same size everywhere. Uh, you can hide the activity icon, airplane, alarm, assistant icon, Siri, battery and percent icon, uh, Bluetooth tethering bar, call, the carrier text, the clock, data networks uh, icon, the no service slash searching text. So I'm not going to say them all, but there's many different features to get rid of on the status bar. Um, and also you can change the carrier of your uh, on your status bar and mine actually said extended and this happened when I updated to iOS 8 leave a comment below if this happened to you as well uh, I was currently on Verizon and once I updated to iOS 8 it changed to extended as my carrier but I have typed in a custom carrier and put in Verizon so that's pretty much it you guys of course you have some features for your history but I'll let you guys go and check that out yourself uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think about this tweak uh, let me know if there's any other tweaks that you may want to see uh, in a video and subscribe and like this video let me know how much you like this uh, tweak and let me know maybe even your favorite tweak that's out there for iOS 8. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.